Brody is literally so hot. Oh, I think you just gave me a concussion. What is going on over here? We were just fighting about who we saw coming out of the janitor's closet this morning with Mr. Higginbottom. Zoe thinks it was Mrs. Mabubi, but I could have sworn it was you. I didn't see anything. Good, neither did I. My head really hurts. <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? I have a deviated septum and you're deviating it more. Brody's my ex-boyfriend, you skank. Oh my God, can you guys stop? You've had like 26 ex-boyfriends. If you don't want one of them, why can't I have one? You're both idiots. Yeah, probably because Taylor just gave me a concussion. No, I don't think that's why. Sorry, we can't all be gay, Casey. It's really not that much better. Unless you're me, because I get anyone I want. Oh man, I forgot my locker coat again. She's gonna be so mad at me. Is that girl new? What do you want, JJ? I'm at work. Mom, did you wipe my locker coat down anywhere? I forgot it again. Hmm. I've never seen her before, but she's prettier than you, Zoe. Might have to replace you as my best friend, especially with that crooked nose. <laughs> no, I didn't, JJ. It's not my responsibility to keep track of your locker code. You need to learn to be independent and start to take care of yourself because I'm not gonna be able to do it forever. Is this about Brody? Because I won't talk to him again. Again? <gasps> I deserve that one. You need to go to the front desk and tell them that you forgot I your locker mean, combination like a big know. girl. I know it's not about him. I just have a reputation to uphold. I can only be friends with nines, no eights or tens, because I have to be the prettiest, but I also can't be seen with ugly people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait. I am at work trying to put a roof over our head, and I don't need calls from my daughter who doesn't know how to do anything for herself. Whatever. Casey, do you know her? Hang on. What are you doing? I'm writing the answers to my science test on my hand. <sighs> You're so smart, Casey. Can't you? So fucking annoying. Shit. I ran out of room. Give me your hand. I'm gonna be fucking late for class again. Bitch, I have a blood condition. The ink is going to like seep into my blood and make my condition worse. Should be fine. Do you know that girl or what? Who? There's no way. What? That's JJ freaking Johnson. The geeky horse girl? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be late for class. You're high. Yeah, but I can still see. You guys got high without me? No, you were with us. Maybe I do have a concussion. No, you're just stupid. JJ. Come here. Me? Yes, you, dingbat. See? Told you. Wow. Uh, hey, Casey. What's up? And by what's up, I mean, why are you talking to me? Wow, she's rude too. I like her. You look different in a good way. We like your new look. Oh, um, I just didn't have time to wave my hair this morning. Well, you don't look ugly anymore. What Zoe is trying to say is that you shouldn't braid your hair anymore. It makes you look like a dork. Really? It, it, it's kind of like who I am though. Oh honey, nobody likes who you are. My mom does. And, and my dad does sometimes. Don't wear the braids again, okay? Okay. You're sitting with us at lunch today, so cancel your other plans. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't really have other plans. I usually just eat alone in the bathroom. Do not ever repeat that. See you at lunch. Okay. Bye. Wow. They're so cool. Oh, there she is. JJ. Hey, guys. Sit. Okay. It's so nice to have people to sit with for lunch. What is that? My lunch? Ew. JJ, it's okay to be poor, but we just don't want to flaunt it. My dad packed me that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, first rule of being popular, we don't bring lunch from home. We buy it. Okay, I can do that. I just, I just don't have any money on me. Here, you can borrow my dad's credit card. I, I don't think I can. Can. Yes, you can. He won't notice the charges. Trust me. He really won't. No, I mean, I don't, I don't think the lunch ladies accept credit. Ew. No, I didn't mean to buy lunch here. We get DoorDash delivered. Here, order whatever you want. You're allowed to get food delivered here? Yeah, of course. Principal Asman is like totally our girl. She lets us do whatever we want. Plus, she really likes DoorDash. Oh, there she is. Hey, Jesse. Jesse? You're on a first name basis with the principal? Yeah. Hey girls. Hey Jesse. JJ. 
What are you doing with popular girls? You're not popular. Um, we love JJ. She's one of us now. Eh. I am? Wait, you already know JJ? Well, yeah, I still am the principal. I have to know all my students. Really? Who's that? Um, that's... Ma Mary... I think I have a sinus infection again. Ma mm. Mark. That's Gerald. I've like never seen that boy in my life. Yeah, I have no clue to be honest. I don't actually do my job. I only remember JJ because I used to sleep with her dad. Stop. What? SEQ? Eh, not really, but... Not too bad in bed. Ew, la la la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. No, 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 I don't want to hear about my dad in bed. That's really disgusting. Ew, la, I don't want to hear about my dad La 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 la. No, no, I don't want to know this. La 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 la. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something right now. I'm traumatized. Oh, shit, I'm late for a meeting with the superintendent. I'm gonna get fired. Just give him some, please don't fire me, Hess. That always works for me. Girl, how do you think I got this job? All right, I'll see you guys later. Is that what I'm gonna have to do to get a job? <laughs> I like her, she's funny. So, JJ, what's your body count? I've never hurt anyone. <laughs> I never, I would never. I like her, she's funny. I wasn't joking. So you met how many people have you slept with? Oh, well, that's a weird question. Uh, I have to think. Damn, she has to count? You're better than I thought. Okay, so my friend Cassie once. Nice, that's pretty gay. Um, Emma, one time. My aunt Linda. Oh, my cousin Jenny. What? Mm, my oldest sister Mia. What is wrong with you? My mom. You're disgusting. What? What? You... you you asked me how many people I've slept next to before. You thought we, you thought we meant how many people you physically slept next to. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. JJ, you're a fucking riot, dude. I didn't know you were such a prankster. <laughs> what the fuck did they mean? Just smile and nod. Okay, girls, the final touch. Hi, JJ. Where's your Urban Cowboy perfume? What? Uh, I don't have one. All the cool kids have Urban Cowboy perfume. Yeah, because it smells good and it's vegan. Think of the horses, JJ. What do you use for perfume? Sometimes I love the inside of a lemon on me. It kind of stings. Well, you can't sit with us until you smell like blossoms, okay? Wait, but how do I get one? We bought it on the TikTok shop. How do you buy something on the TikTok shop? Figure it out. Call us when you get one. <laughs> that was weird. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on? What the fuck? Okay. All right, class. Maybe I was just hallucinating. Please take out your urban cowboy perfume. What? JJ, I said take out your urban cowboy perfume. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what the heck? Mom, Dad, something really weird is going on. All the kids have urban cowboy perfume. All the cool kids have urban cowboy perfume. Fine, fine. Are you all trying to tell me I stink? Now my friends will let me sit with them again because I smell good. If you want to get one just like me, you can get one by clicking this button right here. Try it. Click it. See what happens. So who are you going to prom with? Prom? I'm a freshman. So? We all go to prom. With who? I don't know, like any of the creepy seniors that want to bring a younger girl? Well, who are you going with? <laughs> Brody. Brody. Brody asked you? Yeah, he asked you too. No, but he doesn't have to. We're a thing. He knows we're going together. I don't think he does. Maybe it's because you're a thing with a lot of boys. <gasps> you freaking bitch! I just got my eyelashes done! Oh, boo-hoo! Go cry to Brody about it! The only time I cry to him is of happy tears from our sex being so good. You slept with my Brody? Yeah, and he has some freaking amazing moves. I gave him those moves. Yeah, well, you also gave him chlamydia. Chlamydia is not a big deal. It goes away with antibiotics. You would know. Oh, you're a freaking bitch, Zoe. <laughs> So they're best friends. 
Yeah, that's how they show their love. It seems kind of toxic. Aren't all the best relationships? No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> fucking, fucking hate you. Hey, remember that time we dated for like a week and then I dumped you? Shh, shut up. Nobody knows that and it's gonna stay that way. To this day, I still don't understand what I was thinking. <sighs> it's cause I got that concussion and couldn't remember anything or think straight. Like literally, I was straight before that. <laughs> And then boom, head injury, and I'm suddenly gay and dating you. I don't think so. Maybe someone hit you over the head with a flying pan. What? <laughs> Do you know something? No, I don't I don't think so. Grass? Let go of me! Oh no! AJ? Mom? You're home? Am I home? Bobby? Wh whose house are we at? Oh, is it not familiar to you? It's probably because you're never here. Now listen, young lady. I had you very young, and I didn't get to have fun because I was raising you. Now, you're old enough to take care of yourself, and I want to go out and get laid, okay? Your father was a deadbeat and couldn't last longer than two minutes. I have never known satisfaction and happiness in all of my adult years until now, okay? Why does it have to be my dad? I have never known satisfaction and happiness in all of my adult years until now, okay? Why does it have to be my dad? Oh, he's just one of many, honey. Does he know that? No, but when you care about someone, you don't tell them things that are gonna hurt them, okay? I don't think that's great advice. Well, you know what? You don't get out much. That's true. Why am I even your friend? <laughs> what are they doing? Arguing over a boy. Girl, knock it off. Life is too damn short to be fighting over boys, okay? I can hate you. Uh, let go of my hair. You stupid bitch. There's plenty of him to go around. Didn't your mother teach you that Sharon is caring? I don't want to share Taylor's chlamydia. <laughs> Yeah, no, don't share the chlamydia. Never mind. They'll figure it out. Okay, bye. You can leave now. Uh, wait a minute, young lady. I was coming to see if you wanted anything at the store. I'm going to run some errands. What store? Lick. Uh -uh. <laughs> Licka licka. Or oh, do you like Saturday sips better? I'm good. I have enough for the weekend. What? Okay. You need any condoms or anything else? No, still gay. Yeah, I still don't know how that happens. Zoe, Taylor, yeah, you need any condoms? Yeah, get me the biggest box you can find. I have a long weekend planned. Freaking bitch, Zoe. <laughs> okay, um, what what size condoms? Hey, Zoe, the biggest ones. Brady's not even that big. Maybe you've just never got him fully hard. What? Okay, you girls are giving me headaches. Now I remember why I have to come with you. Let go of me! Why you let me have one more You sure you stupid. Oh my god, Zoe, Taylor, knock it off! Apologize and make up. We have more important shit to do. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That Brody likes me better. What? I said I'm sorry. I like you so much better. Okay, so prom is in a week. Taylor, can you please just let Zoe go with him? Why can't you go with your boyfriend? Fine. She has a boyfriend. Okay, I need help deciding who I'm gonna go to prom with. This is very important. How many people have asked you? Three? Damn. I really value all of your opinions. Except JJ, she's still learning. Fail enough. I'm just happy to be here. Okay, I've made a very important PowerPoint to go over the pros and cons of each candidate. Please pay attention. This is so extra. Do we get popcorn? Okay, first candidate. That wasn't a rhetorical question. Rose. She kind of looks like me. No, she doesn't. She's way prettier than you. 17. Ben. She lay. Pros. Super pretty. She is pretty. Captain of the cheerleading team. Super wealthy family. JJ, are you paying attention? Sorry. Has leadership qualities. Probably good in bed. That's fair. How do you know that? Next. Okay, the cons. Crystal lesbian. What's a crystal lesbian? Small boobs. I have small boobs. There's nothing wrong with small boobs. Shoes with mouth open. And hooked up with Emma Whitlock. Hey, I like Emma. I mean, everyone's hooked up with Emma Whitlock. Candidate number two. Okay, now she looks like me if I put my hair in a bun. Now we have Dylan. Oh my god, stop flattering yourself. 16, switch, she, her. She's also way prettier than you. Pros. So smart that she skipped a few grades. Pretty hot. I have a question. Big booty. Never mind. Plays basketball. Definitely equal as much a top as a bottom. I don't understand this lesbian slang. Very important. Again, how would you know that? Next, we have cons. Do guys do this? Kinda young. 
Not a sugar mama. That's a hard pass. Brody is her brother. Oh my god, that's Brody's sister? Shorter than me. Ew. And drinks cow milk. Should I be taking notes? What's wrong with cow milk? It's a red flag. Next up, and lastly, we have Max. Next up, and lastly, we have Oh, wait, they're cute. Max. 18, trans mask, they them. They literally Max look like me too. It's older. Can call them daddy. I'll call them daddy. Taller than me. I like that. Haven't dated anyone non binary yet. Skateboards. Hot. This is like getting boring. Always smells amazing. Okay, and cons? Have heard that they're a pillow royalty. I see what you did there. Oh, I get it. That's it. That's all the cons. Oh, is there one more candidate? What is this? What's that? No, no, please. No, no, no. Casey, what is this? No, I really don't. No, no. Is that me? No idea. Okay, what do we think? Are we just gonna ignore what just happened? Taylor, I'm not gay, I don't look at girls like that. So helpful, thanks Taylor. Oh, I'm so confused. Hey dad. Hey. <clears throat> Are you okay? <clears throat> Are you sick? Don't get too close to me. Not medically, just sick of this shit. What? Hey. Oh look, it's Mia, my favorite daughter. Wait, where are you going? Out. I'll be back later. Are you guys kidding me? Both of my children are ungrateful and don't love me. Not only do I have to accept my only two children being gay, but I also do everything for you two. Not really. Okay, you're right, but I do a lot. What's up with him? I don't know, he's acting weird. I deserve to be appreciated. I just deserve some love and appreciation. Ungrateful children. This is ridiculous. Hey, Bobby. Happy Daddy's Day. At least you love me. Now wait a minute, nobody said anything about the L word. Do you think we fooled him? What? Were you not playing along? About what? I was trying to make him think I forgot it was Father's Day. It is. <laughs> hey Dad. Are you crying? No. Happy Father's Day! What? You didn't forget? <laughs> hey Dad. Are you crying? No. Happy Father's Day! What? You didn't forget? No, I was just planking. I knew my kids wouldn't forget about my special day. What Mia actually did. Is that a present for me? It's a golf shot from Swing Juice. Golf Dad? I love it! This is the best present I've ever got. I got one for me too because I'm gonna go golfing with you today for Father's Day. I have plans today actually, but thank you for the gift. Oh. Oh, wait, is there something else in there? Okay. What's this? Outstanding achievement in fatherhood? Yeah. Where am I? Am I at school? How did I get here? <laughs> oh, there's Carlos and Gerald. Hey, guys. Bro, I can't believe she died. Who, who died? <laughs> she was the love of my life. Wait, but I thought I was the love of your life. I'm never gonna get over her, bro. <laughs> wait, who died? JJ. What? Oh. Who is JJ? G guy, guys, I'm right here! JJ! Oh my god, they can't see or hear me! Uh, I'm a ghost! Uh, Ow, I still feel that! <laughs> Emma? I knew I should have asked her on a date. You could still ask me, Emma! I'm right here! I will never meet someone as cool as her ever again. Emma, I should have told you that I'm crazy in love with you! I was just so nervous to tell you because you're so much prettier than I am and I thought you were way out of my wig! This sucks! I'll never get to experience what it's like to be with Emma! I've never even had my first kiss yet! We're just here to inform you that our daughter has passed on and will no longer be coming to school. Mom? Dad? Oh, thank God! She was a pain in my ass! Yeah, now we can finally get a divorce! We were only trying to stay together for the sake of JJ. But now that she's gone, we can separate and live happy lives. <laughs> it was just a dream? Oh, thank God. Okay, girls. I've decided who I'm going to prom with. Rose. Dylan. Max. Yes. Which one? All of them. What? What? I'm confused. Well, I couldn't decide, so I said yes to all of them. Um, Casey, this is not a good idea. Wait, so all four of you are gonna go together? <laughs> no, they don't know why I said yes to the others. That's a stupid idea. Your math is not mathing. How on earth are you gonna pull this off? 
You guys are gonna help me. Ooh, this sounds fun. No, I'm not. Um, I don't remember agreeing to that. I volunteered you. When? Just now. Okay. But what about our prom dates? Taylor, someone finally asked you? No. Then what's the problem? Mm hmm That's what I thought. Well, I don't have anyone to go with, so I'll help you, Casey. That's the attitude that I like to see. I'm just happy to be here. Why can't you guys be as obedient as JJ? I'm not a dog. You are her bitch. I guess I am a dog. Well, I'll help, but I'm going with Brody, so... Oh, good. He can help, too. Okay, he'll be so delighted to hear that. I'm so excited. Okay, come close. This is the blueprint of the space. How did you get this? Principal Aspen. She's so cool. I know. Anyway, since I said yes to Rose, Dylan, and Max, they all have to think that I'm only there with them. Fortunately for me, they're all in different cliques, so they will all be sitting at different tables. So I'm going to spend a few minutes with each and then make an excuse and then go to the next, etc. Um, can you go back and laugh? This is not going to work. You guys are going to help me distract the ones I'm not with so they don't go looking for me. I'm on. Okay, screw me then. Whatever. Okay, now for the fun part. We're each going to have a little earpiece so we can alert each other if one of them is about to cross paths. I literally couldn't think of anything less fun. We're going undercover? This is way too much for my brain to handle. Or if someone's getting a little too suspicious. That's so cool. Is this what the popular kids always do? Capiche? Sounds complicated. When do we get to have fun? This is fun. Right. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. We matter too. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Casey, you never care about us. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Do I get a team jacket? No, we're not a dance team. Okay. We really should consider getting much though. Do you guys want me? JJ, you should never be this excited to be anyone's friend. It's pathetic. Right, got it. I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you're so in love with JJ, why don't you go to prom with her? Go. Attitude. And sorry, JJ, you're cute, but I'm not gay. Understandable. You're not my type anyway. I'm like everyone's type. What is your type? Oh, Gary. <coughs> What's it to you? God, sorry for trying to seem interested in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all understand the plan. Yes. Sure. Yes. I'll see you girls tomorrow night then. Leave now. Right now? Uh, I just have to call my mom to come pick me up. It'll probably be like 15 minutes. Okay, go wait outside. I can't wait in here with you. No. Okay. Well, will one of you drive me? I would, but my license got suspended. And I genuinely just don't want to. Okay. JJ, what did you do to your hair? Sorry, I tried to do it like you did, but this is the best I could do. I've literally been working on it for hours. No. No, 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 no. Taylor, do you have a brush? You really just expect me to have everything you need on hand? Yes, I have a brush. Okay, this needs to be quick. Good. Wow, you weren't kidding. I have a magic touch in more ways than one. Hmm. Okay, here's your earpiece. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Your life must be pretty boring. Not really. And this is a walkie that you can talk through. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and you're also standing right in front of me. Nice. Where the hell is Zoe? Where the hell is Zoe? Hello? Zoe, what the f are you doing? Like, right at this moment? Yeah. Um, Brody? I need you here like, like 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Wait, where? Prom. Oh, is that right now? Brody, I think we're supposed to be at prom. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, be there in a minute. Well, maybe less honestly. Hey guys. That was quick. Yeah, so is Brody. Where is Brody? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh. I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? Where is Brody? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh. I don't want to know anymore.
Are you joking? You steal my boyfriend and now my dress too? Um, this is my dress. It's the same fucking one I'm wearing, dipshit. Cute, twinsies. No, not cute. We can't be wearing the same dress. Why not? I don't care about your minor inconveniences. Do we all remember the plan? Yes, I studied it all night. Yes, you only told me 47 times. Yes. Wait, no. What's that? Zoe, you are literally the most useless human being. Yeah, but it's not my fault. I got it. Casey has three prom dates, but none of them know about each other. So our job is to make sure that they don't find out. Okay. But at least someone listens. I'm listening. I just don't really care. Raise your earpiece. Cute. Just lit, bro. I know. All the older hot girls are wearing short dresses. I'm in the atmosphere. But yeah. Dude, how are we even here? We're freshmen. Principal asked me, he's like, oh, regular customer of mine. Bro, that's dope. Thanks for taking me as your date. Why did you air quotes around date, bro? Because we're not actually on a date. Oh, wait, dude, did you think we were like going to prom together? No, bro, of course not. All right, good, bro, because that would have been hella awkward. Yeah. Mike, this is a formal event. No hats allowed. I can't take this off, bro. Take it off. No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. bro. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why you out? always get to stick up your ass, man? No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against dress bro. Code. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why do you always just stick up your ass, man? Dude, what, bro? Your hair is gorgeous. Really? Yeah, bro. If you were a girl, I would, like, totally be into you. Bruh. Hollows. JJ, you clean up nicely. You, you look beautiful. I know. So, are you um, are you still a lesbian? Last time I checked. Yes. Well, how recently have you checked? What do you mean recently? Oh. Come on, bud. You deserve to spend time with someone who appreciates your company. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Oh, it's Ella Love. You look beautiful. You look amazing. I'm so happy you made it. Yeah, but typically when someone asks you to be their date for prom, you two are supposed to go together. I understand. So I was rather surprised when you said you wanted to meet me here. I'm so sorry. My friend was having a crisis. I just I really needed to be there for her. What? None of us were having a place at this time. She couldn't arrive with anyone, otherwise her cover would be blown and fall. Where, where does this go? Keep up. I don't think that's right. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's completely understandable. You're such a good friend for doing that. Good friend? <laughs> that's laughable. Will you join me at my seat? Of course. Hello? Is this why? I'm walking with Rose for a seat. Can you tell Rose? No. Clear. Over. Hello? This is so fun. I feel so useful. Sorry, love, did you say something? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Hello? Casey, can you hear me? My apologies. Sometimes I hear voices. I think they may be my spiritual guides, but... I don't think this, like, matches my dress. I can never make out what they're saying. <laughs> I think mine's clogged. Listen, my love. I have a very important question. Okay. Sure. Um, what is your astrological sign? Um, I'm a Gemini. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, um, May or June? June. Okay. Casey, that's a red flag. Over. Casey, who's your favorite musician? Casey, prom date number two has a wife. I repeat, prom date number two has a wife. Fuck Dylan. Hmm, I don't know Fuck Dylan. What genre are they? What? You said your favorite musician was the band Fuck Dylan. I'm not familiar with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're good. Do you think you could show me a song to see if I recognize it? Hmm. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, you mean like, you mean like right now? Wait, are Dylan and Brody twins? You guys dated and he never introduced you to his sister? Must have not been that serious. He got me a promise ring. They're here somewhere. I'm a big supporter of the arts. Oh quack, Dylan is walking around for Casey. Oh my god, Casey hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh, shh, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? Oh my god, Casey, hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh, shh, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? Sorry, I just got like really stressed and I just like needed a moment to myself. Right if you really can't decide on a song to show me from Dylan, it's not that big of a problem. I will just look it up myself. No! Oh, what gives? Well, you really better hope that just didn't break. Gemini's crazy. Guys, this is not going well. I just threw Rose's phone across the room. What? Over. You good thing you have two more options. Over. Go distract Dylan until I can see the light. Watch that. Over. No, I should really write a good Amazon review for this phone case. <laughs> so you're not mad that I just whipped your phone across the room? I think you're quite crazy, but truthfully, love, I just need a little more excitement in my life. Hi, baby. What's up, Angel? Long time no see. And by long time, I mean like 10 minutes, but 10 minutes feels like forever without you, baby. <laughs> you're so funny. So? This is the infamous Brody that I've heard so much about. What have you heard about me? That's your player. Thanks. Hi, Brody. Hey, nice to meet you. What's your name? <sighs> That's not funny. Did I say something wrong? Did you guys even date? Oh my god, yes, for like nine months. Of um, what? No, that's not ringing a bell. That's like so pathetic for you, Taylor. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Now I remember. You were the one that slapped me around a lot in bed. That sounds about like my stool friend. Please excuse my idiot brother. He gives like 500 girls a month. What? So you were cheating on me when we were together? No, baby. I was cheating on everyone else with you. Oh my god. Taylor, well, didn't you two have like five boyfriends at the same time too? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. They were more like than I thought. Up top. I'm like so not in the mood to be here today. Well, maybe since it's Friday, it'll be an easier day. Okay, class, please open up to a blank sheet of paper. Today, we are going to be learning the midpoint theorem. I spoke too soon. The midpoint theorem states that the line segment drawn from the midpoint of any side to the midpoint of any other side of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half the length of the what? third side I don't of the triangle. If you connect the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the resulting line segment will be parallel to the third side and have half um, its length. This is Asman. I'm really confused. Me too. Me for. Oh, guys, I get it. AJ, you know the rules. If you text in class, you have to share with everyone. Okay, fine. Okay, class, welcome back from break. I hope you all studied and did not sin or do anything illegal. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm not gay. Um, nobody said that. Then why are you all looking at me? Mike, that's enough homosexuality talk. I'm not gay. I don't know. That person you kissed at the New Year's party looked awful manly. No, she just had really short hair. Where is she? It's not like her to be this late. Mrs. Asman, did, did JJ call it sick today? I hope so. Oh, thank God. JJ, you're late. Detention! Okay. JJ, is everything okay? No. What happened to your hair? I was too depressed to wait it. Nothing matters anymore. Did your dad get angry again and go to the strip club? Not this time. Oh, good. That's, that's good. That would have been easier to deal with, honestly. What happened? Okay, open your textbooks to page 105. <laughs> Mrs. Asmin, can I please use the West Wing? You have three minutes. But what if I have to poop? Poop quickly. Okay. Today we will be converting to standard form and finding the intercept. Uh, can I use the bathroom too? No, one student at a time, you know the rule. I have severe IBS and I'm about to shit my pants, so if you don't want to clean that up, I suggest that you let me go. <sighs> Fine. No sex or drugs in the bathroom. Why did she say that? What does she know? JJ, are you in here? Carlos? What are you doing in the woman's west womb? I wanted to make sure you were okay. Hey, you're not allowed in here. You're a boy. That's bold of you to assume my gender. 
It's 2023. JJ, please talk to me. Sorry. I just... I'm just such a loser. And I don't want to be a loser anymore. Why are you a loser? Because I really liked Emma and... Nova stole her from me because I couldn't get the balls to ask her out. So after you left the party the other day when I was going to kiss my ex-girlfriend, she pranked me and made me kiss the mirror. She's such a bitch. Emma saw it and it made me look like such a loser. JJ, you're not a loser. You're the coolest person I've ever met. I am a loser. I had my first kiss with a mirror. You haven't had your first kiss? No. See, now you think I'm a loser too. And you're the one person I really don't want to think I'm a loser. No, I don't. You just haven't found the right person yet, but when you do, they'll be so lucky to kiss you. I think I know who that person might be. Who? You. I knew it. I said no sex in the bathroom. Detention for both of you. In separate rooms. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do I need to take a shower? Oh, yes, definitely. No! Are you kidding me? Who's in there? Me. Well, are you almost done? I need to take a shower. No, I'm shaving my entire body. Mia, please! I have a date and I smell bad! Who on earth would want to date you? Can you stop being a jerk and just hurry up and shave faster? Yeah, fine. Give me two minutes. She was in there first. It's not my fault we're too poor to afford two bathrooms. Excuse me? She's been there for 30 minutes and I need to get ready for my date. Mia, get out of the shower or you're paying for the water bill. Fine, I'll just have a half shaven cooch. You have a date? Yes, but at this weight, I'm probably not gonna make it. What's her name? It's a boy, actually. What? I thought you were gay, honey. Yeah, me too. All that counseling on how to raise a gay daughter was for nothing? Mia is gay. No, she has a boyfriend. Uh, no, she's just a masculine lesbian. Oh. Finally! There's no hot water left. I hate you. Finally! There's no hot water left. I hate you. It's gonna be so cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to be the fastest shower of my life. Can I put my nails? Oh no, it's a boy. <laughs> Oh, quick. Hello? Hey, I'm on the way. Have you left yet? Yep, I'm in the car. I'll be here soon, okay? Love you, bye. What? I don't have time. I shaved my hooch. You never know. Okay. okay, what the foot do I wear? There's too many options and none that I like. Well, it's gonna be a movie theater, so it's probably gonna be cold. But if he puts his arm around me, I'm probably gonna get hot. Why does this have to be so difficult? No, 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 no. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Wait. This is perfect. Okay, I think this is good. This is cute. <laughs> what if he tries to kiss me? What if my breath stinks? What if it tastes like garlic? I haven't even eaten garlic. No. Oh. It burns and burns. No. It's not good enough. I don't want to be known as the girl with bad breath. Just 
everywhere. It should be everywhere. Okay, I'm ready. No, I'm not ready. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. What if I'm a bad kisser? What if he's a bad kisser? I'm being dramatic. It's just a movie. It's just a freaking movie. No, it's not. It's never just a movie. Carlos. Hey, JJ. You look really beautiful. Thanks. I just got this new short. I mean, I actually got it in the dumpster behind our apartment complex, but it's new to me. It's pretty, but it's not as pretty as you. Thanks. You smell good. He doesn't, but I can't tell him that. Did he even put on deodorant? You too. Damn, I didn't even put on deodorant. She must just like my natural pheromones. Nice. So, what movie are we seeing? Doesn't matter. What do you mean? Well, are we even gonna be watching the movie? Oh, frick. Does he really want to kiss me for two hours straight? I guess not. Well, I was thinking a romance movie. Maybe like... On True Love's doorstep? Um, actually, I was thinking The Brick House at the end of the street. What's that? Comedy? Horror? Oh. I can't even watch Harry Potter without having nightmares, but I don't want to look like a wimp. Yeah, that, that sounds great. Okay. I already bought my ticket online. Uh, oh. I was gonna pay for you. I don't believe in old-fashioned etiquette or social norms. I can take care of myself, and I definitely do not belong in the kitchen. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Uh, wait, but how did you know what movie we were gonna see? You just asked me. I didn't. So, I bought tickets to all of them. I like to be prepared. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go buy mine then. Okay. Hey dude, can I get one ticket to the brick house at the end of the street? Bruh, that's rated R, bruh. Do you have your ID? No. Mike, I'm literally in your class, bro. You know I'm not of age. Just give me the ticket. Alright, I honestly really don't care. But just so you know, that movie's fucking scary, bruh. Are you for real? Yeah, bro. I cried for three days and had to sleep on the floor in my parents' room. Fuck. Oh, well, you don't want to look like a pussy in front of your girl. I know, bro. Hey, bro, do you have any weed on you? No. Damn, all right. Well, good luck, bro. You're gonna need it. All right, I got my ticket. You ready to go in? Wait, where are you going? In Into the theater. Without popcorn? Uh, no, no, we can get popcorn. Yeah, we need popcorn. That's the best part of the movie. Oh, good. The preview's just started. We have like 20 minutes to talk. I kind of wanted to watch the previews. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, let me get all candy. Hold this, please. m ms Notes. One six pieces. That's pretty impressive. Oh, here are your snow caps. Oh, the corn sponge bites. And... Hmm. I could have sworn I put a Snickers in here. Oh, I found it. Here you go. Uh, oh, I think it's open. There's some there's some chocolate on the wrapper. I don't think that's chocolate. Shh, the movie is starting. Can you see me? So funny. Are you okay? Don't you run away? Yeah. Stay. Stay with me. What the fuck, bro? Why did she enjoy this? Stay with me. He hasn't tried to put his arm around me yet. <laughs> This movie is really good. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that he's the one that needs to be comforted? Is this too scary for you? No. Here, have some popcorn. Okay. Just distract yourself. Ask her questions to get to know her. Oh my god. So, um, JJ, tell me, why do you, um, like horses so much? That's random. Um, I don't know. I've, I've just liked them ever since I was a little girl. I think they're pretty and majestic. Cool. You sh- 
Yeah. Carlos, look, those people are making out. Uh, I think they're doing more than that. Oh, don't people know there's cameras in here? Right here, behind you, look. There are. Yeah, everywhere. Behind you. Hey, you should slow down on that icy. You're gonna have to pee during the movie. Don't tell me how to live. Okay. I really just don't want to be left alone here. Okay, it's been like an hour. You need to make a move already. Why are you being a pussy? Just do it. This is so funny. What if she's not into it though? Just make it look casual. <sighs> are you tired? There's still a lot of the movie left. Yeah, yeah, a little. This is the best movie I've ever seen. That was so weak. Oh. oh my god, did you see that? Maybe I should just ask her. Hey, um, can, can I put my armor on you? It's about time. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to put my armor on you. Ah, uh, this is nice. For like, I really have to pee. Wow, she's so into me that she's shaking. I feel like I'm gonna pee myself. Damn, I must be giving her butterflies. I don't wanna miss the movie though. Come on, dude, you're sexy, you got this. Just go in for the kiss. She is not getting the hint. <laughs> Maybe if I lick my lips. Why are you staring at me? I'm gonna miss the movie. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just jealous you're here alone. Why hasn't he asked to kiss me? Maybe he doesn't like me. <sighs> Why do I have to do everything? Hey, do you want to kiss me? Yes, Willie. Are you okay? Yeah, come back. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, promise. Oh, I don't, I don't think that pants candy is, is sitting too well. Jesus. S sorry. Are you for real, bruh? I told you this movie was too much for you. Well, fortunately, it's over anyway. Oh. I, I, got I gotta go to the bathroom. Bruh. How you doing, champ? Better. Sorry about that. It's fine. Can you hold some of this stuff, Joe? Uh, yeah. You're never gonna go on another date with me, are you? No, of course I will. It's just a normal human bodily function. Plus, it's probably my fault for giving you candy out of my pants. Hold that thought. <laughs> well, good thing I had a bucket this time. Oh, um, uh, my dad's here. Yeah, my mom is too. I'll, um, text you later. Yeah. Maybe not. I think... I think you're gonna need some mouthwash. Right. That's fair. Maybe, maybe next time. Okay, bye. Bye. No, you're not. 100. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did you just do 100 push-ups? Yeah. Piece of cake. Hmm. Impressive. Yeah. Pretty cool that you have this gym in your apartment complex. Yeah, it's pretty chill. I come in here like every day after school. What? Like, I was thinking we could like work out for a little bit, you know, get the juices flowing, and then like go hang out in my room. Okay. Bet. All right, the treadmill's always a good starter one. Well, I do love to run. Cool. Yeah, me too. But like first, we should just start with a walk, just to, like get warmed up. Okay. Okay, 
Oh. Okay. I um. I think we're warmed up. All right. So for this one, you're just gonna sit right here and. Oh shit. Uh, let me increase the weight. That's way too light. Okay. You're just gonna grab it like this and pull it straight down and squeeze your sh shoulder blades together. <sighs> okay. One. Three. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was that was good. Impressive. All right. You try. Okay. Yes. It just like that. Just like this. Here, let me get it for you. All right, it's probably gonna be pretty difficult, so just go easy. And if you want me to lessen the weight, just like let me know, okay? Like this? Oh crap, did I, did I lessen the weight? Dang, yeah, I, I totally did. Let me uh, increase it for you. Oh, okay. All right, that should be a little more of a challenge for you. I don't feel much of a difference. You know what? I think this one's broken. Let's try a different one. Okay. All right, you might not be able to do this, but it's okay. Just try your best and don't get discouraged, all right? All right. All right, I'm gonna do like 10 pull-ups and then you can just try one, okay? Sure. Okay, you got this, Carlos. It's, it's it's pretty hard because you have to like pull up your entire body weight. It seems pretty difficult. <laughs> okay, done. Your turn. That was only five. I thought you were doing ten. Did I say ten? I meant five. Mm -hmm. So I just hold on to this and pull myself up five times? Yeah, but honestly, I'll be impressed if you even do one. So don't worry. Okay. Difficult. This is really easy. Whew. Are you just making things look really hard to make me feel better? You're such a gentleman. Yeah, you you caught me. JJ, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, my boyfriend lives here. What what are you doing here? Uh, this is my friend Carlos. We're on a date right now in the apartment complex gym, bro. Uh, hi. Who are you? Hugo. But most people call me Papa Bear. Yeah, no thanks. Hugo works. JJ, how do you know this creep? Creep? This is my guy! We've been going to the same gym together. I've been training her. What? You've been playing me? Yeah, I'm sorry. You just look so excited to show me how to use basic gym equipment. I just didn't want to wait on your parade. Bro, that's pretty messed up for you to befriend a child at the gym, showing her how to work out. You're fucking creepy, bro. First of all, little man. I'm not little. It's okay to be a short king. JJ is like a sister to me. I care about her more than my own family. Secondly, I have a hot man upstairs waiting for me to finish warming up my arms. So what? Oh. Carlos, don't be rude. Papa Bear is the only family that cares about me. My dad drops me off at the child care center at the gym every single night so he can have the house alone to have sex with his bimbo. And the child care center stops accepting children at age six. But my dad seems to have forgotten that I'm a teenager. And the child care people felt so bad for me that they gave me a free membership to the gym because they think I have a neglectful parent. Which I do. And Papa Bear is a tweener there and has so generously offered to twain me for free. Oh. I'm over this. Carlos, can we go? Yeah. I'm watching you, man. I know where you live. If you break her heart, I will break you. And you best believe that I could do that with one hand, little man. Carlos, 
Carlos, you're sweating from your crotch. I think you may have pushed yourself too hard. Yeah. Welcome, delinquents. Have a seat. Now you'll be here for the next hour. No talking, no eating, no phones, nothing. Are we allowed to do homework? Are you at home? No. <laughs> then no. Bro, Mrs. Mububi lets us do homework in detention. Am I Mrs. Mububi? No. You're Mrs. No Booby. <laughs> nice one. I don't get it. <laughs> Gerald, why are you here? I don't have you on this list. Um, I, I have nothing better to do. Sorry, I'm late. Are you seriously late to detention? You have detention for being late. I'm not really good with time. I hate children. I thought she had detention for almost kissing me in the bathroom. That's tomorrow. I have a lot of detention. Mrs. Aspen doesn't like me. So, like, if we're not allowed to do homework, what are we allowed to do? Nothing. You are to sit in silence and think about your bad behavior. That could, that could take a while. Okay, shut up. We have begun. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Hello. I miss you. You look very dapper today. Oh, thanks, baby. I, I like your hair today. Oh, really? You do? Yeah, it looks real sexy. I just got it done yesterday. Well, they did a they did a really good job. I like your mustache. Oh yeah, you like my mustache? Well, I like your lips. Oh, thank you. It's a new lip color. I'm trying it out. But since you like it so much, I'll, I'll definitely wear it every day. Yeah, wear it for me every day, baby. So what did you do today? Um, some kid had the shits real bad, so I spent most of the day unclogging the toilet. That sounds that sounds really fun. No, it really it really wasn't fun. Hey, you know what would make my day better if you could send me a photo. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll send you one. JJ, I saw that! So wait, I just have some dust in my eye. I was just trying to blink it out. It's okay now. Are you there, darling? Yes, right here, darling. Okay, good. I missed you. Nothing. I'm just bored. You look good. What? You look so good. Why don't you send me some more photos? Wow, you're like the most perfect lady I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of ladies. Um, Mrs. Asman, I have to go to the bathroom. No, but I have IBS and I'm- Okay, there's a bucket in the back corner. You ain't fooling me this time. You're, you're inviting me over? Yeah. Like, like right now? What, why? Are you, are you busy? No, no, no. I'll, I'll be right there. Okay, okay great. Okay, bye. Children, um, something has come up and I must go attend to it. So, uh, detention is dismissed. She wants the D. <coughs> That's disgusting. Ew. No, I forgot that I have a doctor's appointment right now. Oh, yeah, I bet you're going to get checked out real good. I'm going to gag. Oh, I don't want to think about her that way. That's enough. You're dismissed. So, JJ, Friday we could uh, go to the movies. Yeah, I would like that. Cool, cool. Maybe we could um, like finish what we started. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll um, see you then. Quick. Mom, I don't have a Halloween costume. Honey, yes you do. Go get the black sheet and the witch's hat. But this will be my fifth year in a row being a witch. We can't afford a new costume this year. I'm sorry. Okay. What's your costume supposed to be? Uh, a cheetah. What are you supposed to be? A soon-to-be ex-husband. 
Oh, honey, you look so cute. I like it. I don't want to look cute. I want to look scary. I wanted to be a scary equestrian. That's too bad. Mommy is broke, so you're gonna be a witch. Your mother's a witch all year long. I'm the lamest witch ever. I don't even have a broom. Yes, you do. We have plenty of things you can use. Here you go, sweetie. This is a Swiffer. Don't be ungrateful. Okay. That is what the hot witch uses in Hocus Pocus. She is the hot one. That's your favorite movie. I've never seen that movie. You're right. I think it's my favorite movie. Oh shit, it's three o'clock. Are you ready to go trick-or-treating? It's not even dark yet. It's too dangerous to go in the dark. I'm not five. All my friends are going at night. No, you're not going with your friends. We are taking you. Mom, that's so lame. You can go with us, or you can not go at all. People already make fun of me enough. I don't need to give them another reason. There's so many reasons. What's one more? Fine. I need a bag to collect my candy in. No, we're not getting candy this year. What? There could be drugs in it. Why can't you ever just let me have fun? You can have fun without doing drugs. I don't want to do drugs. I just want to go trick or sweeting. Why am I even going out there if I can't even collect the candy? So you can still participate in the holiday and not miss out. Just safely. We're not awful parents. So we're just gonna walk up and down the street? Yes, so you can show off your costume. This is an old bed sheet and a $5 witch hat that you bought from Costco. Don't be ungrateful. Can I at least carry a bag so I don't look like a total loser? Fine. Here. This is a target bag. You really hate me, don't you?